the goal today is to use a couple of AIs to generate an animated 3D model, and I'm here in Playground, which is just a place where you can generate images. And I put in the prompt, and I'm going to click on Generate and make sure that the method is stable to Fusion. And then once I do that, I'm going to have an image pop out. So there's a few options that I can do. I can download the image, or I can apply face restoration in order to upscale the face, and so that's what I ended up doing. And this is the final result after applying the face restoration. Then after this, I went and used Dolly's outpainting tool and uploaded the image there and resized it so that it was small and so that the blue box covered the ideal size of the image that I wanted. I pasted the prompt and I clicked on generate and I made sure that the prompt included the um, model in a T pose so that the model would have her hands pointing outwards. And I found that gives better results when using Mixamo, the tool that I'm going to later on use to input the model so that it could animate the model. So then after a few trial runs, I finally accepted the image that I felt was the best and I downloaded it. Then I went into Icon, the image to 3D AI, and uploaded the image, clicked on Icon for the method, and then submitted the image. And then what Icon does, it just outputs a preview of the 3D model and it also provides the OBJ file, which is what we need to actually open it up in Blender. So I went and downloaded that. And then I opened up Blender and clicked on General for a general file, clicked on X to delete the cube, and then went to File, Import, and then Wavefront OBJ and uploaded that OBJ file there. And this is what it looks like in Blender. But to get to the animating part, I'm going to go into Mixamo and then click on Upload Character and upload the OBJ file. And then it's going to ask me to align those circles to the specified body parts, and so that's what I did. And then after that, I clicked on Next. And then it's just going to rig your model from that point on, and then it's going to show you a little preview of your model, and then you just want to click on next again until you have basically the options to apply any motions to your model, like dancing, or fighting, or hip-hop dancing, or even more fighting. I ended up choosing this dancing motion for my character and went ahead and downloaded the actual character to upload it into Blender once more. So again, I opened up Blender and went to import and this time I imported an FBX file, which is the character that I downloaded. And here is what it looks like, although you can't see it because you actually have to select everything and then press on S to scale it because it's going to be really small. So then once you scale it, you'll be able to see it. Or you can just zoom in if that helps. And then if you click on the play button at the timeline at the bottom, you'll be able to see the motion of your animated character, which all started with an AI generated image. And that's it for today. Bye.